The Garfield Park Pond Restoration Project is just about complete. Last summer, the pond was drained and the silt accumulated over the years was removed to restore the pond to a depth of five feet. One of the final steps to revitalizing the three and a half acre pond was to stock the popular summer fishing spot with a variety of fish to ensure a healthy ecosystem and enhance recreational fishing. So today we were putting some fish into Garfield Pond after it has been dredged. Um, we ended up going with like a fingerling package, which is just like the smaller fish package, just because we don't have a fish population here. Um, what we put in today was largemouth bass, channel catfish, bluegill, red-eared sunfish, tadpoles, shiners, and minnows. A fish hatchery located near Columbus supplied the fish and recommended the diverse mixture to encourage fish growth and sustainability. The pond at Edward R. Walsh Park on Bellflower Road was also stocked. So the fish from ETC in Southern Ohio are grown specifically for this purpose. And also um, at Ed Walsh Pond, we ended up putting a little bit bigger fish in there, um, just for the fact that we already have a little bit of a fish population there. A new catch and release policy is in effect for recreational fishing in city parks. Garfield is catch and release fishing, and that's just gonna allow the fish to be able to grow, get bigger, and that'll make everyone else happier to being able to catch bigger fish. Just over the course of a few months, Garfield Pond has made a dramatic recovery from restoration toward a balanced ecosystem supporting birds, wildlife, plants, amphibians, and now fish. Going forward, this should just be a happy and healthy pond.